We are back again with more cruise news. Today we have a restart of sailing for Holland America announcement and the first test sailing from the United States. We're going to get into it right after this. Chris here with High Seas Cruising and welcome to today's video. Let's jump right in with Holland America. They have announced their 2021 sailing season from San Diego and from Fort Lauderdale. Go and throw it up here on the screen, their current schedule. So we are excited to announce the restart of cruising this fall out of California's Port of San Diego, beginning with sailings to Mexico, Hawaii, and along the California coast. Caribbean cruises also begin from Fort Lauderdale. All right, and we have a list of the ships and the dates that they are going out here. We have the Zooterdam sailing round trip San Diego to Hawaii, Mexico, and the California coast beginning September the 18th. The Coingsdam, I'm pretty sure I said that wrong, sailing round trip San Diego to Hawaii, Mexico, and the California coast beginning October the 10th. The New Amsterdam sailing round trip Fort Lauderdale, Caribbean sailings beginning October the 23rd. The Rotterdam sailing round trip Fort Lauderdale, Caribbean sailings beginning November the 3rd. The Eurodam sailing round trip from Fort Lauderdale, Caribbean sailings beginning November the 14th. And the New Staterdam sailing round trip from Fort Lauderdale, Caribbean sailings beginning November the 21st. For any further details, go ahead and go to hollandamerica.com. So before we get into test sailings, if you would do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. It is always free to do so. Allows our channel to grow and continue bringing you cruising content. So this past Sunday evening, Royal Caribbean's Freedom of the Seas sailed out for the first test sailing here in the United States. It had a full crew, 600 employee volunteers as passengers, plus of course the CDC supposed to be out for a two-day test sailing and Freedom of the Seas is scheduled to begin revenue generating sailings here in the beginning of July. So I do suspect we will hear something rather quickly about how this test sailing went, what are the results, any changes that are going to be made, or any recommendations from the CDC. Now I know the question is probably going to come up, well what does the CDC matter the judge has ruled that the injunction in favor of Florida saying that the conditional sale order is not going to be valid starting on July 18th. And while that much is true, remember the CDC still has until July the 3rd to submit a much narrower CSO, which the judge could approve and could still have some effect on the cruise lines. It is possible that the conditional sale order will simply go away on the 18th. It's possible that the CDC will appeal the judge's decision. At this time, we really just don't know what changes are going to come up. Could be all kinds of changes. Could be no changes. Remember, the cruise lines are still going to do what they need to do to restart sailing safely. They can't have any outbreaks at sea. They can't have any negative publicity. It would be too much of a negative impact for something bad to happen if they just disregarded all health and safety protocols. So we just know that's not going to happen. And there are several cruises that are going to be going out prior to July 18th, and those are still all under the CSO. However, between this week and next week, we are definitely keeping our eye out to see if any changes come up, if the CDC puts anything out, or if the cruise lines make any type of announcements to changes they might make if the CSO actually goes away. But until we actually hear something, we pretty much need to assume that it's going to be business as usual. The protocols the cruise lines have put out, they're going to continue with until we hear something different. All right, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, let's smash that like button. Have yourself a great day, and we will see you out on the high seas.